With so many conspiracy theories out there, it's hard to keep track of them all. Welcome to What We Know, where we try to uncover the histories and mysteries of the world by presenting all different theories out there, and the only narrative we push is this. Here's what we know, make up your own mind. In 1926, Professor A. W. Bickerton declared the concept of shooting at the moon to be foolish and impossible. In 1935, he noted astronomer F. R. Moulton wrote that the man could never travel in outer space. In 1957, Dr. Richard van der Reed Woolley called the idea of space travel utter bilge. Eight months later, Sputnik 1 was orbiting the Earth. In a remote northern area of Tibet lie the ruins of the hissing new capital, discovered by Du Park in 1725. Within the city, Du Park came upon a mass of monoliths, a pyramid part of a tower of blue porcelain, and a royal palace, containing thrones with the sun and moon images. There was also a large milky white stone surrounded by exquisite drawings. Now for the stunning sequel, in 1952, a Soviet expedition arrived. The group was shown by Tibetan monks, some ancient documents whose descriptions agreed with those of Dupar. But here is the breathtaking part, the milky white stone. So said the documents was brought from the moon. Moon rock, is it possible? Could man actually have left this earth and gone to the moon in ages past? Was space travel a natural adjunct to his civilization? Are these clues? Indeed, there are. Indications of the reality of ancient space travel do come from widely separated parts of the world. Written and oral tradition is widespread and it seems reliable. Chinese historians in particular never tried to please their rulers at the expense of truth. Death was preferred to untruthful reports of history. As an example, we have the fate of historians in the reign of Qi. In 547 BC, we should therefore take seriously the historical reports of China, even if they seem at first to be far-fetched. There is a tendency in scientific circles nowadays to regard ancient documents and even mythology and folklore as sources of history. Anthony Roberts expresses it this way, legends are like time capsules that preserve their contents through ages of ignorance. In regard to some of the chronicles cited hereafter, internal evidences will carry its own proof of authenticity. My first source is an old manuscript described by James Churchward, the English scholar who wrote decades before people spoke of artificial satellites and spaceships. Number 1. India Vehicles that could revolve around the Earth. Their fuel is drawn from the air in very simple and cheap way. The motor is something like a modern turbine. It works from one chamber to another and does not stop or stall unless switched off. If nothing happens, it continues to function. The ship in which it is built could revolve as long as it liked around Earth, only felling when the parts of which it is made were burnt off. Number 2. India Philosophers and scientists who orbited the Earth below the moon and above the clouds are spoken of in the ancient Surya Siddhanta. Giant satellites made of shiny metal and turning about an axis are described in detail detail in ancient Sanskrit texts, right down to their dimensions and interiors, as well as smaller craft that ply between them and the Earth. Shaldia, two modern rockets emitting rays at the rear, a boss like a loudspeaker and a copy of Gemini capsule are engraved on a copper chisel unearthed at Ur. Number 4. Sumeria Pictographic texts describe three related objects on display in Sippar, the golden sapphire, the gear, and the alik marathi meaning advancer that makes vessel go. Together they look very much like a three-part rocket ship. Another explicit sign is the combination of two words din and gear. When joined together, to form the word gods, the tail of the fin-like gear fits perfectly into the opening of the rocket-like den, which exhausts fire from its tail. Number 5. Peru A clay vessel, 8.5 inches high, portrays a kind of space capsule on which motor and exhaust are clearly recognizable. Number 6. Italy A painting discovered in the niche of a room under Rome's Palatine Hill in 1961 portrays what appears to be a rocket. It stands on a launching pad. From it run guys or cables behind is a tall wall, resembling a counterblast wall. Number 7. Japan Excavations have uncovered clay figurines of people clad in peculiar space suits, with helmets entirely covering their heads. On the helmets are representations of something like slit-type glasses, breath filters, antenna, hearing aids, and even night sight devices. Number 8. India the Mahabharata describes two-story sky chariots with many windows, ejecting red flame, that race up into the sky until they look like comets, to the regions of both the sun and the stars. Number 9. Gautamela Another ancient description mentions a circular chariot of gold, measuring 12,000 cubits in circumference, unable to reach the star. Number 10. India Other reference speak of Pushan sailing in golden ships across the ocean of the sky. Garuda 
carrying Lord Vishnu in cosmic journeys. Ariel flies through the region of the sky firmament which is above the region of the winds, the ancients of space dimensions. Number 11. New Zealand Maori legends tell of flying machines and journeys to the moon. Number 12. China 3rd century BC, Shu Wang Tzu is a work entitled Travel to the Infinite, relates a trip he made into space to 32,500 miles from the Earth. Number 30. Tibet and Mongolia Ancient Buddhist books speak of iron serpents which devour space with the fire and smoke, reaching as far as the distant stars. Number 40. Tibet Three levels of a pyramid in the Sing New Capital commemorated three historical periods in the remote past, the pre-space travel era, the time when men were able to visit one of the heavenly bodies, and then afterward when they came back to Earth and lost the power of space travel. It was here that they are reposed on the altar a stone brought from the moon. Number 15. Babylon The Epic of Etana supplies us with very accurate descriptions of the Earth's surface from progressive altitudes, descriptions which were not verified in our own era until the high-altitude aerial flies of the 1950s and the first space shots of the 1960s. The description of this ancient space flight depicts exactly what happens when man leaves the earth. Number 16. Book of Enoch The ancient Book of Enoch says that in space it was hot as fire and cold as ice, and a dark abyss. Number 17. Yunnan Province, China Engravings of cylindrical rocket-like machines which are shown climbing skyward were discovered on a pyramid which suddenly emerged from the floor of Lake Kunming during an earthquake. Number 8. Greece Lucian pictured the moon as a body like the earth which could be reached in 8 days and wrote a fiction of a moon trip. Number 19. China Desolate, cold and glassy In the year 2309 BC, the engineer of Emperor Riao decided to go to the moon. The celestial bird provided him with information on his trip. He explored space by mountaining the current of luminous air. How he flew into the space where he did not perceive the rotary movement of the sun. On the moon, he saw the frozen-looking horizon and erected a building, the place of cold. His wife Chang No likewise flew to the moon which she found a luminous sphere, shining like glass or enormous size and very cold. The light of the moon has its birth in the sun, she declared. The ancient Greek scientist Empedocles had also declared that the moon was made of glass. Such precise knowledge implies on-site inspection of the moon in the remote path. Number 20. China A story from this same period says that an enormous ship appeared on the sea at night with brilliant lights, which were extinguished during the day. It could also sail to the moon and the stars. Hence its name, a ship hanging among the stars, or the boat to the moon. This giant ship which could travel in the sky or sail the seas was seen for 12 years. Number 21. China The Shi Cheng book says that when the emperor saw crime and vice rising in the world, he commanded Chong and Li to cut off communication between the earth and the sky, and since then there has been no more going up or down. Is this not a clear indication of the cessation of space travel in the past? Number 22. Tibet Sanskrit documents discovered by the Chinese at Lhasa are claimed to contain directions for building interplanetary spaceships. Fly to the moon is mentioned. The Chinese have stated that certain of the data were being studied for inclusion in their space program. Number 23. Relics on the moon. Reports have been made concerning strange messages on the surface of the moon. An object shaped like a sword near the crater bird. Strange cross formations in the crater Eratosthenes and at Fra Moro. Angular lines in the crater Gassendi and seven spots on the shape of the great capital Gamma on the floor of the crater Litra. Two giant sets of letters under Mare Serenitalis. To the left of Mare Tranquillitatis, which read Piax and jaw, black letters easily discernible, strange tracks running right up the wall of a crater. If such geometric constructions were found on Earth, speculation would rage as the men who left them. Not every discovery has been announced by NASA, and exploration has scarcely begun. Already NASA has run out of budget for further moon visits. It is by no means impossible that future astronauts will discover objects or installations showing that other human beings came to the moon in the distant past. Number 24. It was July 20, 1969 the occasion of the first moon landing during the last reconnaissance flight around the moon. Preceding the landing of the astronauts made an unexpected announcement. He had just seen the contours of what seemed to be some sort of seven-story structure. What was it that he saw? Might it have been the Palace of Code? Why did they subsequently delete a full 11 minute including this from rebroadcasts? If there is a single ancient long abandoned edifice on the moon, 
if there is a single object indicating alien intelligence, if there is still one recognizable rock drawing to be found, then just think what such a find would do to our conventional history. But wait. News has continued to filter through not only from the moon but from 40 million miles away from the small planet Mars. Number 25. A Soviet scientist who defected to the West claims that photographs taken by an orbiting satellite clearly show the ruined temples of a civilization on the planet Mars. The 58-year-old scientist was a high echelon member of the elite team that has worked together since 1961 when Vostok won carried Yuri A. Gagarin as the first man in space. But Russia's growing emphasis on the development of a nuclearized Star Wars satellite system in space prompted him to flee Russia. He now lives under an assumed identity in Switzerland. He reports that several years ago, a Soviet satellite was launched for Mars. It reached that destination in 1982 and has been orbiting the Red Planet ever since. Its sole purpose was to beam photographs and other data back to manned satellite orbiting Earth. The task was accomplished with incredible success. The photo Photographs are computer enhanced and in full color. The detail they show is far beyond anything produced in America, and there is no mistaking what they reveal. The city scanned by the satellite's camera is three times the size of Moscow and it is ringed by wide boulevards, one inside the other and linked together by smaller avenues, like the spokes of a cartwheel. The temples must have been huge, most are in ruins as though crumbled by a tremendous Mars quake, but some still support slate gray domes that measure two to four miles in diameter. The Soviet Union will never admit to this incredible discovery because it would reveal too much of their technological progress. End of the story. No, not quite. On February 4, 1985, the Melbourne, Australia age reported the belief of 30 US scientists that two photographs sent back from Mars in 1976 by the Viking spacecraft indicate the existence of an ancient civilization. Richard Hoagland, science writer and member of the group of scientists known as the Mars Investigation Group, said the photos showed that appeared to be four huge pyramids lined up symmetrically with the face. Dr. C. West Churchman, a professor at the University of California at Berkeley said there are too many details pointing to the possibility of an extinct habitation on Mars. What then, I ask, is the real truth about our past? Have we been to Mars before? If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to us and hitting the like button. Feel free to write a comment below and suggest which theory you want to see next. If you'd like to further support this channel, please consider joining. Our membership link will be found in the description box below. We appreciate your support, and as always, thanks for watching.